now I have a completely different background. I'm in a completely different room. I have different lighting, different everything because um, I finished the turtleneck. I just have to cut the yarn. I have 48 rows. Pull tight. And that's the turtleneck. I already assembled the sweater. Just like the turtleneck. This is how it's gonna be sewn together. The triangles won't be sticking out like that, don't worry. They're gonna be going like this, so they make the shoulders. And I just laid it all down so you guys can visualize how it's gonna look in the end. I already sewed, sewed? I've already sewn, I don't know, together the first sleeve um, right here. You cannot really see it, which is good. And we're gonna sew together the other sleeve and of course the turtleneck right here. We're gonna attach the triangles to the front and back panel, attach the sleeves to the front and back panel, sew this part and this part together and also attach the turtleneck up here. So I guess we just start doing that right now. For sewing, I'm gonna start by sewing the part, this part of the turtleneck together. Um, I hope you can see. Oh, oh my god, I'm such a mess. I have new nails once again. It's been almost three weeks since I was filming the last part. I'm very sorry for that. Um, what I'm gonna do, I got a piece of yarn in my needle and I'm gonna go into the first chain in the loop that's facing me. Um, and then on the other side, I'm gonna go into the first stitch, but this time I'm gonna go into the loop that's not facing me, that's facing outside. I'm gonna pull the yarn through just a little bit, and then I'm gonna make a knot with the yarn that's the yarn tail that's already on the turtleneck. I'm gonna just make a double knot. This is not focused, is it? I don't think so. Is it now? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. This is new. Everything new. New background, new everything. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So now I'm gonna continue with sewing. I'm gonna go into the loop that's facing me every time on this side and then do into the loop that's facing outwards on the other side. So I'm gonna go in here and find the other stitch into this loop. It's not focused again. Oh my god. I don't like this. All right. <laughs> Just pull the yarn through. Make sure that you don't get the knot in there. Get the yarn out of there and pull tight and just do that until you reach the end. Like, just sew it together. This is how I always sew my pieces together. Um, I don't know if there's like a better way, but I feel like you can't really see where I've sewn it together when I use this method. So I'm just continuing using that. It's not focused, is it? <laughs> oh my god, help. I need help. Okay, this is really not for me. Is it focused? I'm a mess. Um, also, I have mood swings throughout the whole video. I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do that. Into the loop that's facing me. Go into the loop that's not facing me. And once again. If you do it for the first time, it may be a little hard, but you get the hang of it really fast. At least I did. So, now that I've sewn it together, I'm gonna make one, like, knot. I'm gonna go in some chain loop thingy 
and go through like three loops i don't know pull through but not completely go into that loop that's left and make a knot like that now it's secured if you want it to be extra secure you can make a knot with the yarn tail that's already been on the turtleneck so now it's super secure and this is the the wrong side like when you're gonna wear it side will be showing so we're gonna do the same thing with the sleeve as i said i already i've already sewn this sleeve together where is the part right here so i'm gonna show you how i start for the sleeve you're gonna need a much longer yarn piece I'm just gonna cut it it's like it's pretty long okay i'm gonna put the yarn into my needle like that and first i'm gonna go into like the very edge because i don't have a yarn tail and i want to make a knot oh that's actually i think that is the first loop okay i'm gonna pull this through and because i don't have a yarn tail i'm just gonna make a knot right here Now I'm going to go into the loop that's facing me once again and then into the other side into the loop that's facing outwards. Pull through. Don't get the knot in there. Alright, go into the next chain loop thing and the other side. Like that. Oh my god, I'm so bad at showing this. Thank God I'm not a crochet channel and not a sewing channel, right? I'm sorry. Oh my God, just keep your hands in front of the camera. What the hell? It's very hard. I'm like sitting on the floor. <laughs> okay, if go in here, go in there, and pull through. I feel like there's around three different people talking in this video, but I swear it's just me. It's just one person. Um, yeah, that's just Nika, you know, that's just how I am, that's who I am, I'm just weird. <laughs> I'm really not good at showing the sewing part, I'm just trying my best. So, I hope you understood what I'm trying to show you. I'm gonna speed it up and meet you with the next piece that we're sewing. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can give me. The last one. Go in there, go in there, like that. And then I'm just gonna go through something right here. And make a knot. And once again, to make it extra secure, I'm gonna make a knot with the yarn tail that's already on the piece that's the finished sewing piece looks like this from the inside um actually that's the outside right now it's the inside but that's gonna be the outside so now that we have connected the sleeves next we're gonna just connect the triangle to the front panel then connect it to the back panel and the other one so for that part we're not gonna need a lot of yarn we're just gonna cut a piece like that big and once again put it into the needle i'm just gonna place the triangle right on the corner like that so I'm just gonna turn that around right now I don't really care which one's gonna be the front and the back panel and what faces the in and the outside right now there's no chains that you can use it's kind of hard especially for beginners but you can do it I believe in you I'm just gonna go in here it's not focused is it all right now it is I hope I'm gonna go in this like chain here 
and go into the panel and once again make a double knot like that and now we're gonna start sewing i'm just gonna like kind of eyeball it or how do you say it and just go in there and make sure you don't get the knot like i just did i think you have to get the yarn tails out of the loop now i'm gonna go into here this is the um i'm gonna call this the 3d part so now we just went through the 3d part now we're gonna go through the not 3d part i hope you can like see what i'm doing and just do it by that if not there's probably like tutorials also how you can sew pieces together i'm just gonna try my best to show it because i'm not good at explaining just going through random loops just making sure this is um straight Okay, we're slowly reaching the end. Actually, not slowly, that was actually pretty quick. When I reach the tip, the top of the triangle, I'm gonna go in there like that and also go through the loop, make a knot. And to make it extra secure, as always, wait, this is what it's gonna look like from the outside. Like, this is the outside and this is the inside. To make it extra secure, I cannot. Now we have our first shoulder. I'm gonna connect this triangle to the other side. Make sure that you have the sides, like these are the same sides. And then there's this side. Make sure that you don't put this side on one side and like this one on the other. I'm just gonna Go ahead and connect this, and then I'll meet you back when we're gonna connect the other side of the triangle to the back panel. So this is what it should look like when you've finished sewing the triangles onto the front panel. And now you're gonna do the same thing with the back panel. I'm just gonna turn this around, and you're gonna sew this together like that. I'm gonna do one side, show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna do the other side together. I'm done with one shoulder now. This is what it looks like. That's gonna be the inside, so if you flip it, this is what the outside is gonna look like. Let's do the other side. I'm gonna turn it around so that I have the corner in my hand, because I feel like it's easier to go from the corner to the tip of the triangle. And we get started by going into some loop make a double knot so i've placed the triangle how i needed to sit the 3d part onto the 3d part of the triangle and i'm just gonna start finding any loops to sew it together evenly Always make sure that the 3D parts are on top of each other. 3D parts, is that like a term that people really use in crocheting? I don't think so. <laughs> so making a knot again, because I'm at the tip. Getting my needle out of there and making a double not to secure it all and now that we've done that we can continue and move on to the sleeves which this part is a little bit tricky i would recommend you to use some like pins or i'm gonna use safety pins for that i have my little jar thingy this is the outside and this is the inside so i'm gonna leave it inside out and place it so what you want to do is find the part where you've sewn it together like fold it there 
and then place your sleeve right next to the shoulder and see where it like folds make sure that everything is laid down straight and then you see it folds right here and the sleeve folds right here you want the part that you've sewn together to be on the armpit the other part is on the shoulder and that's where you're going to put a stitch marker so i'm just going to see where it folds and just place the stitch marker right on the part where it folds now i'm going to just see where the sleeve folds down here in the armpit and place a stitch marker in the stitch where the sleeve ends. I just realized that I did something that I wouldn't recommend you to do. I put the front and the back panel together like that so that I have the good side. I always call it the good side on one side and the bad side, which is the chain on one side. Don't do that. Make sure that you place it on top of each other, that you have one bad side and one good side on one side. And now that you've placed your stitch marker, you're just going to count where you put your stitch marker. Count down the stitches. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 41 down here. So that's 41 stitches. And now I'm just going to flip it around and count 41 stitches on this side from down here to the armpit. This is where the armpit starts. Actually, I decided I'm not going to start off with the sleeve so I can remove this stitch marker out of the sleeve. I'm just gonna leave it in the shoulder part. That I can also count 41 stitches on this side and then I'm gonna sew the side together until I reach the stitch marker and that's where we're gonna put the sleeve onto the sweater. And this is what it should look like. This is the inside. I've sewn this together and then I have attached the sleeve. Now I'm gonna show you how I did that on this side. So you cut a piece of yarn, you need a bit of longer yarn for attaching the front to the back panel. Right now for me it's very easy because I can see every stitch. So I'm just gonna go through here first to make a double knot. I'm gonna go into the first stitch into the loop that's facing me and on the other side into the stitch that's facing outwards. I've reached the armpit part. I already removed the stitch marker. Make a knot with the loop. Remove the hair that's sticking out. Pull tight. And now you have this hole, which makes it half a sweater, half a vest. And now we're going to attach the sleeve. So we're going to need a much longer piece of yarn. Get your sleeve and attach it like that. I have the stitch marker up here. I'm just going to lay it flat like that so that the yarn tails are here. Make sure that it's folded right there where you s you've sewn it together. And then place it so that you can put the stitch marker onto the sleeve so that it won't move like that. And what I like to do is I start down here. On the armpit part it's gonna be a bit tricky to show because it's like wobbling around <laughs> I'm gonna place this right here where the yarn tails are and I'm gonna go right in there where I just made the knot 
and go right in there where all the yarn tails are sticking out and I'm going to make a double knot make it really tight because you don't want a hole in your armpit oh. now you have this one part where you see the stitches very clearly and you have the part of the sleeve where you don't really have stitches so you just have to kind of eyeball it once again make sure it's folded and lay it down like that you can also use more stitch markers to just um place it but i'm just gonna start and i just i'll just hold it like that to show you so i'm starting by going into this first stitch i see the loop that's facing me once again and go into through the other side and go into the stitch go through the other side and do the stitch the loop that's facing you and through the other side now i reached the stitch marker in the middle of the triangle I'm just gonna remove it but just continue with what you've been doing so i've reached the armpit part there's only two stitches left that i have to sew onto the sleeve so i'm just gonna go through here and make the loop go through the loop and make a knot this is what the sweater looks like right now from the inside of course we don't have the drill neck on there yet but it's gonna go on if you've done everything right so far the turtleneck should fit right into this hole i'm gonna get a piece of yarn a bit longer one as you can see this should fit perfectly into this hole i'm just gonna place my needle in there where the yarn tails are sticking out and then i'm just gonna first get all the yarn tails out and i'm just gonna go right in here like that so once again you're gonna have to see that you have the 3d parts facing the 3d parts so that it looks even in the end once again you don't have loops like stitches so just make sure that the 3d parts are facing each other so it looks even So I finished sewing all the pieces onto the sweater. I'm gonna weave in the ends later. This is what the sweater looks like right now. 